Good afternoon, YouTube Nation. This is Ron with RTR Gearheads. And yesterday, Junior and I sawed off on this project. Went on, almost down to Pittsburgh to pick it up and bring it back. It's a very good friend of mine. He would actually ride the bike to work daily, an hour commute each way. And after getting stuck in the weather and construction traffic, he decided to go ahead and put the bike in the garage and start driving his car every day. Also, he didn't like associating his ride to work on his bike because then he really never wanted to ride his bike other than very rarely because it just was associated with his drive to work and work was nice and miserable for him. At least the ride to and from on the bike was. Um, he goes out, like I said, he would start it, went out one week and it wouldn't start. So he's entrusted in Junior and I to go ahead and get it running for him again and do some maintenance, basic maintenance sort of things also. Right now, when you turn the ignition on, it'll crank, won't start. Get some spray in the intake right there and it'll run as long as we feed it. Right now we actually ran a test. Have the jump box up there and actually directly wired the fuel pump. Turn the power on and nothing. Unfortunately, Kawasaki, this is a 2003 Kawasaki Ninja ZX6RR. Unfortunately, the fuel filter, one, on these things is all integral. It's one contained unit in the tank. To replace it, it's about $477. Yeah, $500 after shipping. So what we're going to do is go ahead and mess around a little bit. See if we can get the pump that's in there going. Or possibly pull it out and replace it with another pump and take a look at everything else while we're in there to see whether or not the bike will actually be able to use just another replacement pump itself and not the whole fuel filter and we'll replace the sock obviously because the sock's probably filthy and we will get another video up again shortly thanks for watching